Now here's something else I could have done. See, there's different ways to wire up boxes like this. This is just a standard box, okay? Now, I could have taken just two wires and put a pigtail on it and maybe got a yellow wire nut on there, push that back in the box, then I only have two black wires coming out. And I could have done that on the white and only had two white wires coming out instead of one. But at this point, because I had to do this uh, and, and put a little pigtail on here anyways, I just decided to do it with the red wire nuts. Then when I put this plug back in, I only have to deal with one white wire, one black wire, and the ground wire. I don't have to get two white wires, two black wires, and a ground wire squiggly back into there. You see what I'm saying? It's one, one way or the other will work just fine. You're going to be an old pro at this pretty soon. Okay, so we're just going to cut these wires back, right? Try to get them all about the same length. Hold those up there. Hold that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Strip them. Well, that's got a little curly cue in it from before, so I'm like I'm gonna eyeball half inch this time. I'm not even gonna get my tape measure out. However far I think they need to be. I just don't want the copper to stick out behind the wire nut. The more of that, the more the more you do, the better you're gonna be at it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kind of straighten these tips because two of these were old wires. All right, this one's doing the same thing. Now I can kind of hold those up and see how they're going. That looks pretty, pretty good. See, I know you're saying, yeah, yeah, do that, Joe. Do the next one. And uh, this shouldn't be a surprise what I'm doing, because I'm doing the very same thing I did with the white wires. Okay, hold those all in a bunch, because you got to get them started in here. There it goes. Yeah. Is. <laughs> Last thing you want is to do this too much, and you could crack it. Or there's a, the metal thing inside could pop off too, but you know, I'm good. I'm good, just good. Okay, you see now that's gonna roll up just fine, just like the, just like the white wires because we had everything planned out, didn't we? Are we ready to roll that in? I hope your answer was yes, because that's what we're doing now. Okay. Sometimes you can get it with just one roll, but you know, it's fine. Two rolls fits right on in there. If you start it properly, you just have to start it properly. Get that wire nut situated. Try to keep my grubby hands off the wall. Wow. See, this box is giving me fits. It's already pushing into the wall slightly because this hole was the existing hole, remember? I gotta loosen this up, pull it back out, get that tab back up over the sheetrock there and lift this up a little bit. With me doing all that finagling and stuff, it pushed down in here and I had to press that in there, some extra effort to get that all in there, right? Man, box is getting full. I think I got enough room. 
Presto SpaghettiO. You see, I got that on the outside now because I just loosened up the screw. That loosened up the flap. I pulled it out, lifted it up. See, I've got barely a, enough room over that, and I raised this up because it was pushed down too far. That's why when you cut in your own, you don't want to cut your opening this big, okay? You saw, I didn't cut that opening. That was that old box location. All right. We're about ready to put this plug in, but before I do that, obviously, this was the one that I took off. Remember I cut the wires? I'll loosen up all these screws, get this all set up to go.